All right, what is up guys? I just want to make you guys a quick video on a layout that has been working really well for me um, as a Town Hall 6 when it comes to protecting my resources. And so let me go ahead and start off with, you're probably questioning, well, why is the Town Hall outside? And the reason being is actually because if you're looking to protect your resources and that's your number one priority, then you want to put your Town Hall outside because if they snipe your town hall and just leave you be, that's just going to give you free shield and it's going to accomplish the objective that you want to have, in which is protecting your resources. So by putting that town hall outside is just a great way for you to get free shield. Them, they are happy because they got free trophies and you're happy because you get to protect your resources just that little bit much longer. And one of the next things I really want to cover is really just how the mortar placement on this layout is actually so crucial in the fact that, as you can see, the mortars on this layout oops, cover both sides of the base. So that means if they come in from the left, like the northwest compartment, they will maybe knock out one mortar, but they still have the other mortar firing down and it can reach the corner of the other side of that gold storage which is crucial because let's say their units die but they have some archers up that means that the archers will still be uh, attacked by that other mortar which is so important when you're trying to protect those resources because you're saving up uh, for that next big upgrade and one of the next things I really want to talk about how about is how it's car it's compartmentalized but it's not too uh, wide open and what I mean by that is one of the biggest problems that I've noticed with like town hall sixes and just lower level bases in general is the fact that they're just wide open and when you're dealing with attacks such as like giants which is really popular as a town hall six um, they just absolutely destroy these open level and just open like open setup bases so you really just want to have your base set up in a way that can protect you and is compartmentalized enough to protect you from those spam um, giant attacks. And another common attack at this level is actually Barch and this layout is pretty good against that in the fact that when you're really uh, protecting your main like the main uh, gold or elixir the whichever you want you're really trying to protect they really can't get in to these compartments and the fact that there's traps set up and it's just not an ideal barge layout because most of the resources just aren't outside and really the next thing that's really uh popular at this level is air attacks and this layout has actually proven successful against air attacks as well and the fact that just like the mortars the air defenses are also spread out and cover the entirety of the base and that's so crucial that you don't provide too much value to the enemy by putting your mortars together or putting your air defenses together because if they knock out those two defenses which are your most important at this level um, you will just get destroyed and you, you'll probably get three star and basically defeats the purpose of actually trying to protect those resources in the first place. And the next really important thing is really just talking about more or less the trap placements. So as you can see, uh, I have spring traps and like the bombs. So let me go ahead and just like go over like my mentality in regards to the placements of these. So as you can see, like these spring traps are in between the archer tower and the mortar and this cannon, the air defense. And the reason they're set up like this is because hogs are sometimes prevalent because they're getting attacked by higher town hall levels. So it's important to have those spring traps set up in a way uh, for the troop pathing that will follow that. So it's just a great way to sometimes ruin someone's day who thinks it's an easy three star by knocking out the majority of their attacking force. Um, with those spring traps and uh, giant bombs. So I just wanted to, the next thing I really wanted to do is just go over some of the raids that I noticed um, and I'll show you what really went wrong with these type of bases. So as you can see, in a base like this, um, I did, I, I've been using the giant, like basically just giant and then barge with a little bit of goblins. And as you can see, 
I'm really, because it's so, it's set up in a way where I, if I get into the inside and I get those mortars, it's basically game over because that's the only thing that really stops um, these giant, these mass giant attacks is the spring, is, is if your base is set up in a way that they have spring traps properly set up so that way you can get rid of the giants as well as um, just basically handle the like the rest of the opposing force because if they if you can't take out the giants then the they're just going to get to your mortars and just going to destroy um, the rest of your base really so as you can see this is really just really as the rest of the easy raid and you can see that I got a pretty good loot amount a pretty good amount of loot from this so as you can see this is a, a big problem in this level is an open layout with there's too much value in the middle of the base and what I mean by that is they have the two most important air to, uh, defenses as a town hall six which is the mortars and the air defense in the same compartment so as you can see here I just took out the wizard because it was pretty easy in the middle in the outside of the base and then I just ripped through the middle um, because it was just really easy to get to those mortars and as you can see it's just GG from the beginning because I was able to get to those mortars and there's just no way to stop the rest of the barbarians and the archers just cleaning out the rest of the base. And that's really what I look for the, my base to do is stop those mass giant attacks and mass barbarian attacks and really just trying to protect those resources that you're really trying to protect. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Um, if you guys want to check out the rest of my videos, I've posted some pretty good value on there. So feel free to like and subscribe if you learned something from this video. I uh, look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Thanks.